G'day guys, I'm Jason. And I'm Adrian. And we're collectors. Oh, I didn't do it. <laughs> Come on, man. Hi, I'm Jason. And I'm Adrian. And, and we're, we're collectors. collectors. Why do I collect? I collect simply because I've been in love with DC and Marvel characters from a very young age. Um, grew up on the comics and the cartoons in the 90s and stuff. Never thought that one day I could actually own these pieces to look at permanently. And just like any addiction, it starts with just one try. Just one try. And then you're hooked and you're on your way. The reason why I collect is more like get things that you really like, like video games or movies and so forth. And favorite heroes, me, it's Batman for sure. But that's why I always love having those type of characters and just to invest in something that brings you joy. My favorite pieces are the ones that when you look at them, they actually elicit a memory. That you go, yeah, that's the way that I remember them and that looks friggin' awesome. I'd say probably things like Sideshow's Lobo, um, even though a lot of other people don't like it, the Superman Man of Steel, uh, we call him the Man of Plastic around here. But you know, some other ones like that, like the ones that you really elicit them emotions. Out of them, I would have to say it would be the Batman v Bane Battle Diorama by Un Studios. Um, it's a fantastic piece, it's just everything to my favourite character Batman and one of my favourite villains in that line which is Bane. It's the first, you know, first thing in the room people really notice. That statue is always my favourite piece. First tips for people getting into collecting. Don't get pressured into buying something because others tell you it's cool. If you do that, you're just going to sell it down the track. All right? And nine times out of ten in things like that when you do it, you're gonna lose money. Set yourself rules. Like, if you've got a budget, stick to your budget. Uh, if you set a goal in my, I'm never gonna spend more than this for a statue, no matter how much I love it, stick to that rule. Another important thing is um, if you have statues mixed media, better store them in places where it's closed off a bit, like with a screen uh, window door or something, um, just for the dust and stuff. I started collecting, um, it was just like yesterday, really last mid last year, me and Jason, Jason took me to the Supernova in Olympic Park. Well, actually, you, you were sent to stop me from spending money, and he spent more money than me. Yes, exactly. What happened is I started, I actually looked at the swords. I'm a big wow head, and they had the replicas of the Frostmourne and King Lane sword from Warcraft. And I'm like, nah, I'm going to get it. It's cool. And Jason's like, in my ear, like, nah, you should get it if you really like it. Broke me, got both of them, came home. I'm an enabler. Then I, then I, <laughs> and then I went straight into statues. Uh, for me, what started it all was Kotobuki as one tenth line. Looked at the bigger ones that I have now and stuff, and I'm like, oh, geez, who could justify spending that amount of money on something like that? Uh, then one Christmas, the wife bought me three, the Red Sunset. And once I got them, that was it. I was hooked. It was like, okay, what can I get now? Uh, scouring eBay for deals, Gumtree for deals. Um, here's where we are, and I wouldn't give up a minute of it.